Hey Bulls fans, Adam Harry here with another Tabletop Ready Tips for the rest of us uh, where I take you through some quick and dirty tips to get your stuff tabletop ready. Again, I'm not going to win you any Golden Demon Awards, but we are going to get your stuff painted on the board. So, uh, last left off here, I just finished up the bolters for these bad boys and I wanted to show off uh, the difference again. The model here on the left uh, is after the wash, but no, uh, no red uh, highlight step. This model it has been red highlighted and then uh, what, what we're going to do next, it's kind of hard to see because of the color on the camera, but um, it's not quite that orange in real life. Uh, anyway, what I'm going to do next is uh, we're going to go, we're going to add the bolters. Well, not exactly, but today we're going to cover adding the bolters. We're going to cover the metals. We're going to cover uh, another cleanup step that I wanted to show off with the secret sauce. And then finally how to clear up the bases too. I know somebody mentioned that in the Urban Base tutorial. So this is the video that's going to cover all that. So, let me go ahead and jump in. Uh, what I'm going to do next is do the metals on all these bad boys. So, uh, I'm just going to take some bulk of metal and uh, just hit the metals real lightly. Just uh, kind of a light dry brush almost. But I want to keep this step clean, so that's why I save it for now. So, we're going to add metals and keep it clean. I'm back with the, uh, the lining done and the, the metals done. And I actually, uh, this is the secret sauce for this video. The lining trick that I'm using today um, is actually with the uh, uh, Pigma Micron pens. So this is what I was using. It's a 005 tip. Um, to show you guys real quick. It's super tiny, but it's a black tip pen, um, felt tip. And I use that for lining marines. Um, Big Red showed me this tip a while back, and I just wanted to share with you guys. So you get a really nice, sharp, crisp edge wherever you do it. Um, it really helps clean up the model. So um, it's part of that cleanup step. Um, just getting that nice sharp edge in there with the black lining um, and then I went back in and did the, the, uh, the metals as well um, the next step in the process is I was actually thinking about going back over with some uh, brighter metal I think I'm going to use some uh, old GW chainmail just to give the bulk on metal that I used a nice little brighter finish so I'm going to touch those up as, as well and then I'm going to glue the bolters on too so the next step is actually going to be two things so uh, let me go knock that out so Bulls fans, I've got everything all finished up here. I've got the uh, bolters glued on. I've got the uh, uh, the lining finished up. The last step is the uh, other secret sauce. So I already showed you the micro pens that I use. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a felt tip Sharpie, the broad tip here, and I'm going to use this to do the uh, the bases on the bottom to, uh, to clean everything up and give them a unified look. So uh, I'm just going to show you guys real quick what I'm talking about. You just take it and you can go around the entire base pretty quickly. I'm kind of kind of hard for me to do this with the camera in the way, but um, you end up with a really nice black edge on your base. So uh, I'm gonna go knock that out. Uh, you can see that it dries super fast because it's a permanent marker. So uh, let me go do that, and I'll take one final sh group shot when they're all done. And here I have a final shot. I just wanted to show the, the different stages again. So you know, with the uh, conga line painting, boom ended with this guy to this guy so again the red highlight I need to go back and line them a little bit more get that crisp line there that I like and then uh, today went over the lining technique and the base as you can tell much much different from when they started uh, it looks a lot cleaner so there you have it folks the, add the bolter do the metals do the base with the sharpie and you're good to go so Again, this is Adam Harry with another Tabletop Ready. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching. Go ahead and throw us a like, subscribe, you know, hang out on the channel. Give me more comments. I like to check out what people are saying. And if you have any hobby tips you'd like to go ahead and submit, um, just go ahead and hit us up on the Bulls Lounge, and uh, we'll get back to you. So, again, it's Adam Harry from Bulls. Have a good one.